out a hand for the Chabot College Band. I'm your host, Sandy Steck, uh, and I know by looking at me, you, I don't look like an athlete. I, I'm aware of that. Uh, but I did want you to know for uh, about eight years of my youth, I was in a bowling league. <laughs> Sorry, ladies, I'm straight. <laughs> <laughs> yeah, my friends always laughed at me when they found out I like to bowl. They said, Sandy, bowling? What are you, lazy? <laughs> and I said, you know what? If I'm going to pick a sport, I'm picking one with a snack bar. <laughs> I heard that 85% of Americans are vitamin and mineral deficient. Uh, not me, though, because I'm actually taking Viactive. Oh, Viactive, they're great. They're chocolate calcium chews, okay? And they're 500 milligrams of calcium each, and they are delicious. Already today, 35,000 milligrams <laughs> of calcium. I am almost a fossil. <laughs> you guys like to shop on eBay? eBay is fun. A lot of people know eBay. Yep. eBay, actually, uh, a couple weeks ago, the country of Belgium was for sale on eBay. <laughs> the whole, and th the best part was that it was one dollar. One dollar. <laughs> and the person who actually put this on there was a, uh, a journalist in Belgium who was trying to drive tourism to the country. <laughs> and I'm thinking, if you want people to visit your country, charge more than a buck. <laughs> you know, <laughs> raise the bar. I mean, a dollar. Maybe Milpitas, I can understand, <laughs> that's fine, but this is a whole country we're talking about. I would pay more than a dollar for Belgium, as long as, you know, there's some, like, you know, free beer and some chocolate when I get there, I'm happy. Oh, according to Miller Genuine Draft, 70% of drinkers think designated drivers are sexy. <laughs> now, I'm no genius, but when you're drunk, <laughs> isn't just about anybody sexy, okay? Uh, I've made out with myself in a mirror, <laughs> all right? <laughs> yeah. And according to the latest headlines, uh, President Bush has the lowest approval ratings that he's ever had, which kind of makes sense. Uh, there was a press conference a couple weeks ago, and there was a guy that stood up and was very frustrated with uh, the military tactics in Iraq. And Bush stood up, looked right at the guy, and said, tactic, it's like tic-tac, but backwards. <laughs> <laughs> Uh, I went to dinner last night, and there was a sign at the restaurant that said, Our Values. And the number one value said, and I quote, We act guest first. <laughs> we act guest first. That doesn't make any sense, right? Exactly. So I went up to the manager, and I complained about it, and he was upset at me. <laughs> and I said, Excuse me. I is guest. <laughs> You know aren't. <laughs> <sighs> there was a national sleeping survey. According to this, men sleep better when they're sleeping next to a woman, and women sleep worse when we're sleeping next to a man. Now, I think this is funny because they tried to blame it on the fact that men snore a lot. Um, I'm blaming it on the fact that women are afraid to fart. <laughs> That is the honest-to-God truth. We don't want you guys to know that we are not that little princess <laughs> you thought we were. It kind of ruins the fantasy. <laughs> uh, it's nice to be here in the Bay Area. Uh, there's a lot of nice places to visit. Uh, downtown San Jose is one of my favorites. San Jose is the heart of Silicon Valley. A lot of geeks in San Jose, mm -hmm. a lot of geeks. In fact, uh, if you've never been, I'll just give you a quick summary. San Jose is geek during the day and ghetto at night. <laughs> so, daytime lap talk, nighttime lap dance. <laughs> Conference call, booty call. <laughs> high speed connection, high speed chase. <laughs> a little different. Yeah, and there's a lot of geeks and, and, and engineers in San Jose. In fact, I met one a couple weeks ago who was wearing, around his neck, a flash USB memory card. <laughs> And he was so proud of this thing, and I just laughed. I had to laugh at it because he thought it was cool. I remember looking at him. I said, what is that, geek bling? <laughs> and he was so angry. I, excuse me, Sandy. I have four years of work stored on this thing, okay? <laughs> 
Calm down, Harry Potter. God. <laughs> I can't even call him by his real name, which is Michael. I have to call him by his gangsta name, Notorious MP3. <laughs> <sighs> Well, I have a MySpace page. I'm not embarrassed to admit that because a lot of people hate MySpace. I love MySpace, and here's why. I think you can learn a lot about someone by their MySpace page. There was a girl I met a while ago. Thought she was kind of weird, right? And as soon as she showed me her MySpace page, I knew that I hated her. <laughs> <laughs> Do you know how much time that saved me? I didn't even have to get to know her. I didn't. We didn't have to hang out. We didn't have to talk on the phone. We didn't have to pretend we were best friends or BFFs. We didn't have to pretend any of that. No, no. I just saw the 16,000 glitter graphics on her page, <laughs> and I knew it was time to run for the hills. <laughs> Because, ladies, listen, if you're 16 years old, that's fine. Mm -hmm. uh, but if you're over 30, obviously you're going through a midlife crisis. Mm -hmm. It's time to run. And I love the sexual orientations nowadays. Everyone is something different. They can't just say they're gay or straight. Now I love the term bi-curious. <laughs> what? what? Bi-curious? I, I think that's just code word for horny. Uh, <laughs> bi-curious. If I'm by anything, it's bi-skeptical, you know? <laughs> I don't, and bisexuals are great too because I don't even think there is such thing as a bisexual. I don't. I I think you are either gay or straight or drunk. <laughs> <laughs> All right, guys. When we come back, Jeff Applebaum will be here and things we found on Craigslist. Stick around.